The Wichita City Council has approved millions of additional dollars to help speed up development around Riverfront Stadium. The money is helping with new expanded plans for the area near Maple and McLean. That's where we find Cakes Jackson Overstreet live with details from this morning's City Council meeting. Jackson. Yeah, Deb, David, this area right here, kind of along McLean, all the way down to Maple here, it's going to look very different in just a couple of years. Two new office buildings, a hotel, and some parking garage in this area is all part of this expanded development plan that was approved today. And both leaders with the city and with the, uh, with the wind surge say this vote today is going to make it a reality a lot sooner rather than later. The wind surge may be having a slow start on the field, but the team and developers working with it got a big win off the field on Tuesday. Have received seven Yegros. That motion does pass. The Wichita City Council unanimously approved changes to the development plan around Riverfront Stadium. Those changes include adding a second office space from the original plan and expanding the size of both the parking garage and hotel. We've gotten a lot of interest and a lot of inquiries since this project. Uh, was announced publicly back in December. So we just felt now is the time to expand it and perhaps get it done sooner. The city will be giving the developer group, Wichita Riverfront LP, over $8 million in TIF district tax money to help with the parking garage and other site developments around the riverbank, as well as $900,000 in tax exemptions for the office buildings. By offsetting some of the taxes that they would be paying be while they build this up, we actually benefit from putting this type of economic engine uh, into the downtown area. While the vote received unanimous council approval, not all in the chamber were supportive of the deal. Some public speakers pushed back on the idea the ballpark is bringing in as many people as originally projected. This is almost 50 percent less than city staff guest. Mayor Brandon Whipple says he understands the complaint, but the city views this money as an investment to keep growing the area around the ballpark. The reality is most businesses take a few years until they actually get the traction they need to be successful. This is the same, where we expect the uh, revenue for these to actually go up according to our projections. So construction on all this development is going to start later this summer and expect to be completed by 2024. Live near Riverfront Stadium, Jackson Overstreet, Street, Cake News on your side.